and you can just go anteriorly, follow it anteriorly until you get onto the most anterior prominent protuberance of that ilium. And that's gonna be her ASIS is right there. I can cuck my thumbs right, right underneath them, right? Okay. For the pubic tubercle, I can proceed from the belly button. You're gonna press downward and firm and you're just going to keep going inferiorly until you hit a bony ridge. An alternative method is to tell the person to find it themselves first. And then you will put your fingers right where their fingers are. So you're gonna educate the person on, I need you to put your hands right on your belly button for me, both hands, just like this. And what I want you to do is just gently Work your weight down until you feel like you've hit a, you're gonna hit something that's really hard like a bone. It's gonna be your pubic bone. And on me, that's like right here. So keep going down until you think you're on it. I you found it. Okay, you think it, okay, that's, you think it mm -hmm. that's it. Do me a favor, just stay right where you are. I'm gonna put my hands right on top of your fingers. And then once my fingertips are right over your fingertips, I'm just gonna ask you to move your hands out of the way for me, okay? okay. All right, so I'm just gonna come in here and go ahead. Just remove those for me. And sure enough, yep, she found it for me. So it avoids how you having to kind of search around and find it, get the person to find it first. This is not a very difficult one to locate. Once I found that pubic tubercle, now I can just proceed laterally. It does get tender, but I can follow that laterally onto the pubic ramus, at least a, a, you know, half an inch to an inch or so, maybe an inch and a half. Eventually you will lose it underneath the deeper tissue. So don't, once you lose it, you lose it and then the other way, okay? So that's the anterior ones first. So let's break up into groups, lay down.